guys welcome back to the C1 engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for daily C1 engineering videos today our topic is about the analysis of this cantilever beam this is a cantilever beam you can see one is the fixed support and one is the in support so cantilever beam is the type of beam which is the one fixed support and one is the in free support so in this lecture we will be analyze, analyzing this cantilever beam having the length of 8 meter and the concentrated load at, at the end of the beam of 5 kN. So as we know that it's a fixed support, so it can resist the three types of the reactions. One is the at this I consider A point, so the horizontal reactions, RAX, RAY vertical, as well as the movement at this point MA. So now to, first of all, we will find these three types of the support reactions and then the shear force and then the bending moment diagram of this cantilever beam. So, as we know that the RAX, uh, is the horizontal force, is the horizontal resistance of this uh, cantilever beam. As there is no horizontal force acting on this beam, so uh, the RAX will be zero. Because, as we know that the summation of forces in the horizontal direction is equal to zero, so the Rx will also be zero because there is no load acting in the horizontal direction. So the support reaction will be zero, Rx will be zero. Now the support reaction in the vertical directions should be zero. So there are two, one is the load 5 kN is acting in the downward direction and one is acting in the upward direction Ray, right, is equal to zero. So we can, we can transfer this into the other side. So RAY comes out to be 5 kN. It means this is resisted by uh, this vertical reaction which is to be 5 kN according to the equilibrium of the vertical forces. So uh, now we remain with the moment. So we can find the moment at the A point by multiplying this load with the moment arm. So force is a uh, force into moment arm. R, R is this distance, right? So MA will be 5, force will be 5 kN, R is 8 meter, so it comes out to be 40 kN into meter. So this moment is being resisted uh, at this point, 40 kN into meter. So this is the moment at this A point. Now we want to find the, uh, draw the shear force in the bending moment diagram of this cantilever beam having the support reactions of 5 kN at this end and in having the moment of 40 kN meter. So to draw the shear force diagram, first of all, I will make the references lines for the shear force and bending moment diagram. These are the two references here. In this case, so I can draw the reference line for the shear force diagram and the shear force in the unit of kN because the load is also in the unit of kN. So this is the zero zero reference for the shear force is we know that the uh, the one reaction here is 5 kN is acting upward so we can draw the shear force diagram by moving this line up to the 5 kN and then there is no load so it can it will be straight line and then again 5 kN is acting downward so it will come to zero so this is the shear force diagram for this uh, cantilever beam having the magnitude maximum of 5 kN now how to draw the bending moment diagram so simply again, we can draw the reference for the bending moment diagram and it is in the unit of kN into meter. So is there is a fixed support I mean, the, uh, is able to resist the 40 kN moment. So uh, here the moment will be zero because there is a free end, no moment, and 40 kN here, I can say 40 kN meter it can resist. So I can join these two points with the one degree line because this is was the zero degree line, so this will be the one degree line, because the moment has always been one degree greater than the shear force. So this is the bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam, having the maximum moment of 40 kN a meter resisted at the uh, fixed support of this cantilever beam. Hope you guys understand how to analyze the cantilever beam. Uh, subscribe my channel for, uh, subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Uh, thank you for watching my video.